Have you ever wondered how your browser picks the right server from millions worldwide? Let's explore this browser to server journey with an example. Let's say a user enters a domain, for example, ebay.com or fitness.co in the browser. Now the question is, how does the browser know which server to send the request in order to access the website? IP address is the actual network address of the server, but a domain doesn't directly contain the server's IP address. So at this point, the browser doesn't yet know where to send the request. It needs to resolve the domain to an IP address. So the journey started here. The browser first checks its own DNS cache to see if it has a recently stored IP address for the given domain. If the IP is not found in the browser's cache, then the operating system checks the system for IP address for the given domain. If still not found, the operating system sends the DNS request to the router. Router is basically the physical device that provide internet. It's like your home Wi-Fi box. It also maintains a small DNS cache. If not found in the router's cache, the request is forwarded to the ISP's DNS server. ISP stands for Internet Service Provider. This is the company that provides internet access. If the ISP DNS server doesn't have the record cached, it starts asking a series of top-level root DNS servers to find the IP. Root DNS servers are the big bosses of the internet who help direct traffic to the right websites. The root DNS server looks at the last part of the domain, which is known as the top level domain or TLD. It's like .com, .edu or .co. The root DNS server tries to figure out what type of website it is. Then a request is sent to the next helper in the IP finding journey, which is the TLD or top level domain name server. The TLD name server receives the request and checks for the specific domain, for example, ebay.com. It then returns the address of the authoritative name server. This is the DNS server that actually holds the IP address record, often hosted on services like AWS Route 53, GoDaddy or Cloudflare. The authoritative name server responds with the A record, which is the actual IP address of the domain. This IP address is then sent back to the browser, traveling through the recursive resolver chain. Now the browser has the IP. Now it sends the actual HTTP or HTTPS request to the web server at that IP address. So this is the actual journey from browser to server.